How you doing guys? How you been doing guys? So first night went amazingly smooth. I was surprised. I was expecting like usually sleeping in a car. Mosquitoes cold or too hot or too cold. But it was it was perfect. No mosquitoes. I kept the windows shut. It was perfect temperature inside. Um, yeah, it was great. It was great first night. I mean, oh my gosh, it's, it's like 6.30 right now in the morning and going to do some computer work real quick. I thought I'm gonna be able to edit and uh, on the run, but it doesn't seem like. Day plan is go to Ottawa, Ottawa in a couple of hours, in a, just a moment, and then pick up Welma at 12. Then head headed for Quebec. No, I'll try to sit closer to the internet. Oh, look at this guy. Look at the board. He was riding on. It was even better than my scooter, I guess. Wow, so we are in Ottawa. Ottawa, first time ever. Looks pretty awesome. Looks pretty neat and, and clean and nice. The hotel place. I want to see the pickup place. Where is it? We just want to go and see. And then I'll have still a few hours to spare. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, if there is a like, place to park, I'll park and then just walk around Ottawa, I guess. And at 12, I get a pickup. I get a pickup. Um, what was the name? Wilma, I guess. That's, that's Wilma. Okay. So see you later. See you later. Alligator. is to sell the thing that he as a machine does not understand like when Sierra kind of hugs him this is fascinating the time travel machine, I have like you know, serious says, the satellite um, radio and this is a show on a ch channel I guess 100 yeah. just with Howard Stern just and there's an fact, interview with Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah, so he, so and this is amazing so I can't stop to listening to this it's just to do this guy is just like he fails miserably wow well I was afraid when I brilliant also Howard is I've seen it's great brilliant in what he does and like marginalize your character because the story is just older, but they figured that all out and uh, blow your mind the point of this movie as well right I mean, amazing uh, it, it would have sucked if making a good business deal is always important right you have to because you don't want to have a huge success well, it was just it was uh, look I, I, we went to Universal Studios and said, Did you know Arnold made the most right. out of oh, all his movies he's, he's been into? He made the most money on I the movie have, Twins with Danny DeVito. They're talking about this. This is fascinating. They, well, the whole story of him. Of the movie. And so in the it's end, just it was not just what it made brilliant. in the box of it, but then it was sold to TV and then right. videos and DVDs and all this stuff. So it made a huge amount of money. We all made much more money on this movie than anything else, on any Terminator movie or anything else in the end. And, and then if we go ahead sure. after that, you've got Total Recall. His story is fascinating. And the guy is of yours, which awesome. I think is incredible, Beyond which, awesome. you know, was this idea of virtual travel. Like or or Stern is really good. I mean, no wonder he's... Oh my gosh, he's actually this is the first time I've ever listened to Howard for that long. He's which was great, and um, you weren't even offered that I mean, role. The point, it was I mean, a, Bill, a Bill Murray was originally it's a great interview, right? Kindergarten Cop. That's right. Yes. And Patrick Swayze was, was thought of. That's right. Yeah. The takes them people can only. He's talking amazingly about, about those universal things, about, about him trying so much, but being so not show. afraid of failures, but you know, failing at the same time. <laughs> tremendously in many dimensions and many times but he the only thing he kept doing was like keep pushing you it's amazing it's very simple right but oh my gosh you gotta listen to this if you're not listening to Howard Stern yet a big plus for both you know i wanted to spend more time with the family the kids really didn't want me to run my wife really didn't want me to run uh she you felt see? like uh this you week's how many obstacles you know, he had to dig into our personal lives and all that although he had been already been proven successful in so many ways he's talking about so running for the governor nightmare that you go through and um 
Yeah, so, and especially uh, when you have all the money in the world and you're you're successful in your field, why right. risk it? Why yeah, but I mean, to me, to, me, to, to me, this is what life is all about. It's like you got to live on the edge. It is. It, 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 I like risk. I don't like comfort. I like it when there is no um, kind of a Listen you know place that you can fall back on really that uh, you know. Uh, a safety net or something like that. I like all that. I mean, yeah, but when you become good. governor and the things get rough, you know, when, when things get tough and people start criticizing and all that, were there, were there times you had regrets and said, what did I need this for? 50% of the people at all times would hate what you do. That's just the way politics works. Right. 50% will love it and 50% will hate it. Can you really take that? Do you have thick enough skin? And I said, yeah, I can take it. So I knew when I went in there, Amazing. that's what's going Amazing. to happen. Amazing. So we did uh, some things that people praised and they loved, and then we did some things they didn't like. But oh, were there times you had regrets that you agreed to do it? No, no, never. Never. Oh, are you kidding me? I had such a fantastic time being governor. You loved it. Such a, and then, of Just course, fascinating. You, uh, I mean, I can't stop listening to this. Like, luckily, yeah, I have I'm still had some time to spare. Right. Well, I'm supposed business. to be out there and looking at Ottawa. I am extremely proud so I'm going to go now. My two terms as governor of what we've Two terms? He had done two terms? Really Holy schmuck! <clears throat> that we never really got the budget problem done because right. I was surrounded by Democrats that had absolutely no interest. And it was a great experience and we were able to set uh, the base for the environmental agenda Fucking to let them know guy that from Switzerland green, from like shithole town and dump in the ocean uh, that you actually can't be he was elected twice he served I, double we term as a governor now because some of them after have so all right this freaking success he had accomplished that's that amazing it's fucking amazing hear about global warming Like hour and a half until departure. Still, only one person sign up. Wilma, Wilma's gonna travel with me, and uh, hopefully, maybe we'll get somebody else. All right, see you. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up. See you later.